So here's a big encouragement. Inevitably, when you're tracking your words, you're gonna get negative feedback, especially from people you don't know very well. They might say, this isn't connecting. I don't really like what you're saying or, or it made me feel weird. These kinds of statements might come up and you don't wanna get shut down over someone else processing your word with you. And as a matter of fact, this could be one of the most demotivating things and that's why a lot of people don't track is because they're afraid of hearing negative feedback. We're afraid of rejection, but you have to realize number one, they're rejecting their, your word, not you. If they are rejecting you as well, there could be something about that you just grow in self-awareness like we talked about before. Or sometimes if you get rejected over and over and over, you might need some help. And it could be anything from some discipleship or some counseling or therapy. Those kinds of things can help you be more relatable. A lot of times when people hear counseling and therapy, they think, oh my gosh, I have level 10 problems. Sometimes it's just some, some self-awareness and some emotional awareness that happens through connecting to some of those places in God, having a, a life coach for your soul, so to speak. If you hear negative feedback too many times, you might wanna actually take lower risks and actually talk to more of the people that you're connected to the most. People that you're friends with, people who are already tracking with your journey, and that way you can start in a smaller sphere of influence versus trying to expand you know, with people who aren't saved or people who at work or people who you've now created an awkward situation because you've tried something that doesn't work over and over and over. But I wanna encourage you, don't quit. Don't give up because when you give up on prophesying, you're actually, there's part of your nature, even watching this, you're hungry for it. There's part of you that won't be fulfilled if you give up. You'll feel like you've stopped an intimate process with God that he wants to give you. So I wanna encourage you, keep going for it because I've had a lot of negative feedback in my past and I didn't let it reject me. I let it develop something in me. I've also had a ton of positive feedback and I let myself also bask in the goodness of God over that positive feedback and you need to do the same. I'm gonna pray for you right now. Holy Spirit, I pray that we wouldn't allow rejection to stop any process in our life right now. I pray, God, that you would touch our hearts and you would help us even prepare us for negative feedback as well as positive feedback. And I pray that negative feedback wouldn't discount the positive process of taking risk. God, I pray that you'd help us to be emotionally aware if we're supposed to slow down or pull back from prophesying over certain types of people, maybe at work or people we don't know, I pray that you would help us to just define our space where we'll have the most success in growing and the most authority in growing, God. And I pray that we'd be super accountable to the process so that we wouldn't just end up frustrated or disappointed. I pray that you'd help us to just be in the space and the time in our prophetic journey where we would thrive. Thank you, God, so much for this opportunity to grow in the prophetic. 